Now joining me, Texas Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar. His district covers nearly 200 miles of the southern border, including the district of one of these cases that we just talked about. Um, Congressman Cuellar, thank you very much. It's good to have you, thank you. Uh, with us. Yes, um, you, you know, it's interesting, this case of the, of the senator and, and her advisor, um, she had just been claiming, here's a soundbite from her, two days before this terrible tragedy happened. Watch. There's no open borders again. And I, I, you know, somebody was attorney general for eight years in my state, worked very closely on the border uh, uh, with Mexico. There, there are no open borders. What do you think she means there? And, and what would you say to her about what you see on the border and the tragedy that happened to one of her senior advisors? Well, look, I just want to talk generally. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's up to the senator. But I'd say this. We cannot have catch and release. We cannot allow people to come in and wait four, five, six years for an asylum uh, case in front of an immigration judge where we know that 87 to 90 percent are going to be rejected. So we need to make sure we do those asylum claims at the border and return probably 87 to 90 percent and just let in 10 percent of those people coming in. That's how we secure the border, in my opinion. So you had put together a group of Democrats to uh, try to address the situation at the border, um, and you announced that. How is that going? How many of your colleagues are on board with you? You know, uh, Alisa, we got over 35 members that have joined the, uh, the, uh, the border task force, and I hope there's a lot more that uh, certainly support it. And I'll say this. Look, it, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. I can say this because I live at the border. I don't just go visit the border mm -hmm. for a few hours. And I can tell you that my folks that live in my district, and I got about 80 percent Hispanics, and, and a lot of them are Democrats, they want to make sure that we secure the border but still be respectful of immigrant rights, you know, whoever has the legal claim. But we do know that letting people in and letting them wait four, five, six years before they get an immigration judge is not the right way to do it, because otherwise so many things can happen uh, in uh, four, five, six years from now. Yeah, this um, Afghan individual who he was enrolled in alternatives to detention program, which tracks migrants' locations via ankle monitor, um, but then they basically lost track of him after only a couple of weeks. So what would you say to the administration, and then, and then he committed murder, um, what would you say to the administration uh, about these programs and whether or not they should ditch them? Well, you know, first of all, uh, you know, uh, anybody that murders somebody, I don't care if they're an uh, undocumented alien, illegal alien or they are an American citizen that kills somebody. I mean, they should face the, the full course of, of the law if they murder somebody. But let me just say this. You know, right now there is a law called Title VIII expedited removal. They're only applying that for people that are in detention, in detention. And what I've suggested to the secretary is that they all look at somebody that's under the alternative detention, which is what you mentioned, and use Title VIII uh, expedited removal to probably remove those people a lot yeah. quicker because they won't qualify or should I say most of them will not qualify yeah. for asylum. I just have a few seconds but I want to play quickly this Joe Scarborough soundbite. He thinks that um, that there's too much attention being paid to the border. Watch this. There were like four migrants and a hound dog <laughs> on top of a hill in New Mexico. And they had their four migrants and a hound dog cam on for hours. Is that how you would assess what's happening at the border? Well, all I can say is that right now we're seeing about an average of 3,800 people a day, <laughs> lower than what we saw some, uh, right, some uh, months ago. Yeah. But we got to make sure we apply repercussions at the border, no matter what numbers they are. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Congressman Cuellar. It's always good to have you with us, sir. Thank you. Anytime. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.